Prayer is your doorway to heaven. Open it and discover the riches of God's glory, grace, and goodness forever. A new teaching series from Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Prayer, your doorway to heaven. A six CD series available today for $25. In this series, you will learn prayer is more than talking to God. It is God talking to you. For a Christian, every failure in life is always preceded by a failure to pray effectively. Divine appointments don't just happen, they must be prayed out. To order, call toll-free 1-888-947-3660 or go to our website at wisdomministries.org. With this purchase, you will also receive a free Miracles Today magazine. God is waiting for you to open your doorway to heaven through prayer. Why keep Him waiting any longer? Prayer, the doorway to heaven. What an exciting teaching this was. When God taught me this, changed my life. Most Christians go through their entire life uh, using their five physical senses and never ever develop their five spiritual senses. Don't you know that you are a spirit? Don't you know that you have spiritual eyes? You have spiritual ears. How do I, how do I see in the spirit when I'm praying? This is going to teach you. This teaching will transform your life. How do I hear? The Bible says, of course, the Holy Spirit will show us things to come. Well, what? Show you things to come. So obviously you're going to see some things with your natural eyes. No. He'll show you the future with your spiritual eyes. You'll get to hear from God, get direction from God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they will be the sons of God. Why? Because you're hearing, not with your natural ears, but with your spiritual ears. This will transform your life. I encourage you, get a hold of the series and start to see and hear in the spirit realm. Prayer is not just one way talking to God. It is Him talking to you. And this will teach you how to hear His words. Prayer means communion with the Father to give Him legal entry into your future. Prayer means communion with the Father to give him legal entry into your future. We've used prayer as band-aid. I'm sick, Lord. Uh, uh, heal me. I, I, I'm broke, Lord. Bless me. I, 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 the devil's attacking me. Help me, Lord. No, 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 no. That was not the purpose of prayer. Prayer was communion with the Father to give him legal entry to come into your life and to change some things in your life. That's why we've got to pray accurately. Prayer is like a track to a train. A it, it, train can never go beyond where the tracks are laid. Prayer that literally means communion with the Father. Why am I giving him legal entry? For divine appointments and open doors. You need divine appointments and open doors. God doesn't have a plan for you so small that you can do it by yourself. You need some people. You need some open doors. And that's only going to happen with prayer. But why do we have to do that? I'm coming to that in a few minutes. Okay. When you get to heaven, God's really not interested in how many cars or, 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 or homes you had. He's interested in one thing. Did you run your race? Did you finish your plan? That's all that's important. And by the way, what we do in this little wisp of time on planet Earth echoes into eternity. That's why we've got to find the plan. We've got to pray out the plan, and then we've got to walk out the plan. Amen. All right. Come with me. Uh, uh, well, where should we start? Yeah, we can start there. We can start in uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. The church has to be known not just as a praying church, but known as a church that gets prayers answered. You may want to write this down. Prayer will never change the will of God. Prayer will never change the will of God. It enforces the will of God. Prayer doesn't change the will of God. It enforces the will of God. Prayer doesn't change the will of God. It enforces the will of God. See, I, I, I keep getting this word, and I've got I to gotta obey the Holy Ghost, so I can't move forward until I share this with you. We've never really been taught on this word enforce. Everything Christ did on the cross doesn't mean anything until somebody enforces it. What do you mean? Well, the speed limit on the highway is 70 miles an hour. If every policeman in Oklahoma went on strike, nobody going to go 70 miles an hour. Go 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Somebody was, once told me they went 140 on the highway. My goodness, 
Why? Because there's nobody to enforce it. The devil will ride shotgun in your house with sickness, with poverty, with problems, trials, situations, until you learn to enforce what he did on the cross. Amen.